and good morning everyone and uh, I um, want to wish long life to Jaime, Jaime Wolanski, who has your site today for his father of blessed memory, Meir Ben Yehuda Leib. And good to have you back in shul, Jaime. So coming back to uh, the beginning of um, the second chapter in Pirkei Avot, Mishnah 1, the famous statement of Rebbe, Rebbe Yehuda Nasi, Ezeh hi derech yeshara. What is the straight way, what is the right course for a person to choose for himself or for herself in life? And he answers, anyone which is works is beautiful for the one who is doing it, for you yourself. And also is good for the people who see, see you doing this. So again, Rabbi Rehuda Nasi is not asking the question, about should I be a good person, should I be a, a, an evil person? That's not a question over here. He's talking about a much broader kind of life choice. What is it that a person should spend? Should each individual has to make a choice about how they're going to spend their life, what they're going to be, occupy themselves in, uh, how they're going to conduct to conduct themselves, etc. What will be their what will be their um, their main occupation? And of course, one has a very very wide choice. Well, of course, one of the first considerations will be uh, making a choice which allows one to live as an orthodox, as a, as a committed practicing Jew. One of the first questions that a Beth Din ask in their pre-questions to any potential convert is to what sort of activity, what, how do you, what do you do, what's your, what's your occupation? Because if a person has an occupation that um, does not permit them to be able to be Shabbat observant, and then they're going, to have, they're going to have a problem. And that's not just a problem for a person who's converting, it has to be a consideration for any Jewish person to be able to choose a, um, a, a, an occupation that allows them to uh, keep Shabbat, to keep Kashrut, etc. So that's the first thing. But over and above that, there are, uh, there's a, a balance over here of considerations between the things which work well for you and the things which work well for the for the world for for others, and one can imagine that that um, you could have um, occupations or things that a person does that will be good for one but not for the other. So, for example, a person could be involved in some kind of occupation that absorbs them and that interests them and occupies all their time and it really is expresses their own sort of natural talents, etc. But it's absolutely useless. In terms of its impact upon the world, on the world, it's a completely selfish, self-contained uh, occupation that makes no impact on, on on other people. On the other hand, one could live a, live a life of dedication and devotion uh, to the wider community or to making the world a better place. But you could be doing things that you absolutely hate, that just simply go against. Well, it's a, it's good for the world, but it's just not working for you because you're doing something that. You simply can't uh, you can't abide. I'm sure that being a dustman is very good for the world. You know, you, you're making everybody happy by taking away all of their garbage. But if you don't like being a garbage man, uh, it's not going to be it's not going to be right. So you have to find something which is a balance between expressing your own special talents, that which you understand is absolutely right for you. And for some people, they know that in instinctively and intuitively from their youngest years. Others, other people spend a long time trying to find out, discovering who they are and what they're good at and what, what they can do that is that really works for them uh, and expresses their, their, their real inner God-given talent. Uh, but at the same time, to be able to find something which is also going to have a maximum impact on the world, something which is going to make the world a better place in some way that can make other people happy um, because you're bringing them joy or quality of life or healing or something of that kind. And for every person, it's going to be a different kind of calculation. And that's why Rabbi Yehuda Nasi wants to put this in the broadest sense. Here are the parameters. This is the basis upon which the choice is made. What the actual outcome is, what it is that you cho choose, will definitely differ from one person to another because we all have different talents, because we're all made differently, because what satisfies one is uh, what is it, um, um, well, good for the, for the goose is, is bad for the gander, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but these are broad parameters which every human being is enjoined to think about 
in terms of how they are spending their life. And it's if you are, if you have it out of balance right now, says Rabbi Yehuda, by implication, it's never too late to change.